Hey, I'm Seth. I'm Teeds. And we're at the band Dead Horse Trauma. This is our van, Building 7. Alright, so this is the control center of the vehicle. Everything from uh, GPS to snacks to uh, our anything. our little GoPro here. Of course, you Promo have to materials. make sure you, you have all the this GoPro. stuff up front. Yep, ready to be handed out. And if you don't have a J JVC deck, JVC decks are, uh, are they're amazing. They're amazing. This um, is uh, this is also our, our home theater. Uh, yeah. When we pull into the truck stop at night, we'll put the blind up and put a laptop up here. And then this little baby provides sound for the entire van. Yep. It packs a lot of punch. Then you can also go into uh, anywhere like a pilot or whatever, buy a little package of popcorn, throw it in the microwave. Two minutes, you got a whole little uh, theater here. Movie night. Days yep. off. Day off movie nights. Greatest thing ever. Yep. And then you get to pick up a pack of these uh, air fresheners because the whole van's going to smell like popcorn. Myself and Eric, our vocalist, and Jason, our drummer, do a majority of the driving. Uh, I'm more of the non-drinker, so I do a lot of the night drives. I get us out of the city and, and headed towards the next truck stop or location safely. Superhero. Yeah. So that way when the cops want to mess with us, I'm good to go and they can take a hike. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our lounge area slash kitchen mm -hmm. slash refrigerator. Commons uh, area. Yeah, commons. Um, everything under that bench is mainly coolers, cool items. This is handy, so let's see. Chocolate milk, always. A flask, of course. Uh, lots of protein from eggs and yogurt. And some beers. So this is what runs our drummer. Yeah, this is this is drummer fuel. This is like what drummers use. I guess, I don't know. He, I mean, he's either addicted to chocolate milk or he... Just, I don't know. I don't know. What, so what's what a, fuels a guitar player? I don't know. Let's. I, I'm kind of wondering this myself. Know I'm dying cooler. to know what's in the box. Water and beer. Water and beer. No, only liquids. The doctor said. Yep, only liquids. He's got a digestional thing. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then we also have our converter. This thing. I mean, it's very small, but it's very powerful. It powers all our stuff. It goes up to this main cord here. Gives these little power strips, you know. So. We can uh, charge things while we drive. Yeah, each bunk is equipped with its own source of power. Cell phones are crucial on the road, so keeping stuff charged is A number one in our game. Um, this is where you rest your butt or your food. Uh, today we had... Not at the same time, though. Hamburger Helper with some corn, which we'll show you our cooking area here in a little bit. Yeah. Um, we have six bunks, uh, four going this way, and then in the back door... Uh, there's two going widthwise. Basically, it's made out of two by sixes. We had a road crew member, Big Matt Collison. He helped us gut out this sprinter. It had seats in it before. Um, so we ripped all that stuff, cut it out, cut bolts, whatever we had to do. Got it completely flat. And then he went ahead and retrofitted the whole thing with our bunk set up from our old bed. Um, it used to be three high on two sides, and now we had to convert. It's not as tall as our last one. I'm 6'3", I almost have enough room to stand up, just about, so pretty cool. This is my bunk, uh, Teed sleeps there, uh, Jason our guitar player sleeps up here, Jason our drummer sleeps up here, we put them together because their names are the same, and then Eric sleeps in the back, uh, Eric is our vocalist, so he has easy access in and out, his own little door, he's yep. good to go. Yeah, and we also uh, bring a new meaning to sleep tight. If you know where that started, uh, we actually use the old integration of beds right here. If you look here, there's old, old ropes and stuff. And that's actually what's holding us the whole time. There's no springs. Uh, there's no uh, space age technology in this fan. But I'm going to tell you what, the ropes are uh, kind of dandy. Yeah. It's they like having you your there. own personal hammock. Like, come in Yeah, it is. Look. It's like, very hammock. Man like. should see this stuff. You just put these eyelets, these eye hooks. This is my laundry as well. I keep my laundry under my bed. But you get the idea. Um, these ropes come through these eyelets, they provide a nice little hammock type thing, just like this. You put a yoga mat or something down and you're resting pretty good. It cradles. Yeah, it holds pretty you nice. in there. <coughs> okay, so this is the door that's open the most, probably the most early in the morning. 
uh, and then you hear like this thing rummaging around and you wake up and you're like, huh, what is that? It's just a singer, he lives back here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared, he just lives in the back. This is yeah, Eric's so. bunk, he sleeps here on the bottom. And then the top bunk right now is kind of like our open bunk. It's where we put all our extras, you know, just whatever, beer, beer of course, uh, you know, uh, extra coolers, whatever, you know, whatever he's got, whatever he needs, you know. What, oh, what fuels the singer? Oh, here we go. What do you got in here, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Monster and water Monster and a water. beer. And a, and a beer. So caffeine, water, and alcohol. So, of course, you got to stay uh, hydrated. Uh, usually, th this is a secret that a lot of people don't know, but when you go into a green room and uh, they give you the big old bucket of, like, beer and, like, water, a lot of the time, the water will be gone first. <laughs> Everyone will drink the water. Beer left. It, like, shows over, there's still a bunch of beer left. All the water's gone, though. All right, you want to take a look in the trailer? This is, uh clothing storage slash gear storage and our kitchen. Today it was raining here in Chicago, so we set up inside. Uh, we got a brand new grill today because the last one took a little wear and tear and went down yesterday. Yeah, and propane is uh, is the name of the game, man. When, when you're traveling, that, that thing really helps out. We do Mexican. Uh, Mexican. Mexican, Mexican's great. Uh, walking tacos, if everybody knows what those are, it's a little bag of chips, crunch them up, put all your taco fixings in it, and you can walk with it. Which I just had one not too long ago. I'm in love with them. I love them. They're great. Yeah, fajitas, tacos. Uh, we just did a lasagna bake today. Uh, pork chops we do a lot. That's good stuff. And then a lot of veggies. We do soup on it too. Uh, we'll make like stews with lots of vegetables and stuff to try to keep everybody as healthy as possible. Yeah, normal. If you know what I mean yeah. by normal. Yeah, we avoid fast food as, as much as we can. <laughs> like, unless we have to beat feet to the next venue, we'll usually stop and get food and cook, cook it ourselves. Back in here is just overflow merch. So some overstock merch, CDs, koozie shirts. We've got skateboards. Of course, we got to bring the skateboards. Uh, you know, people, we, you guys also have separate totes, don't you? Like, yeah, everybody's got their, their own, own little... tote of clothes. However, like we learn pretty quickly in touring that you really don't need that many pairs of clothes. Like, I wear the same stuff for quite a few days at a time. Like all that stuff's clean. My whole tote is clean because I don't change. Just recycle whatever you have in the van. And then, uh, yeah, and then everything in the back here is actually, uh, is all our clothes that we hang up at night. We'll end up doing a show, you know, we end up suiting up and then at the end of the night, we load the van. And Kind of like a little drying rack. Yeah. It's like a bunch of the stage suits. Hang up in here. Yeah, Pull so that's down. where all our gear hangs and you know to dry and everything, so we sweat to death. This is the other half of the kitchen. Um, <laughs> yeah, we forgot about that. Uh, all the cooking utensils, strainers, strainers, griddles, and propane, salt, spices, all that comes back in here. This is the one that bit the dust. This one's done. Done for. If you want it, we'll sign it. It'll be on eBay. Yeah. Find it. Just necessities of the road. Tools. Definitely. Jacks, oh, always bring tools. Time. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing better than a good toolbox when you need it. All right. Well, we are Dead Horse Trauma. You've seen our van now. Come see us live. Uh, we'll be on tour for the next 10 days through the Midwest, and then we'll be heading back out in late July. We're gonna go home and do a little bit of writing. You can find all of our material online on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, pretty much any media outlet on the internet, you will find us. And our name is Dead Horse Trauma. If you Google it, we are the only thing that will pop up. Yeah. So you can uh, also find us at dhttour.com.